How's it going, everyone? We good? There's Curtis. There How's he it is. How's going, Dan? Oh, it's going, man. So listen, everybody, we're going to have an awesome call today. I know that, you know, we've kind of been in a little bit of a transition phase in the last month or so, but it's all for the good. And just to let you guys know, all those values you think you've got attached to those certificates, they just went up this last month. Because as the as the company becomes more profitable, those future receipts become more valuable. So we're going to go over some cool stuff. Obviously, you know, there's some new things to the platform. There's I Decide. It's how you do a presentation without having to do a presentation. But also talking about, you know, how can how can you lead your organization? How can you lead your team in this? At the same time, we want to, we're going to talk about let's get everybody involved. Let's get everybody involved in getting them on the platform. I I I told Curtis and Jet I want to be the first one to sign up for Better Pro, and so so we were. And we just got to make sure everybody does that. So with that being said, I'm going to hand it off to Curtis here, who's been working tires, tirelessly every single day, day in, day out, to make sure that this thing runs like a well-oiled machine. And is anything uh, in life perfect? No. But I, I, mean, I think Curtis is a professional fireman these days. I think he's a fireman um, and the chief strategy officer. But all this stuff he's doing behind the scenes is for you guys, right? Uh, where does he find out? I don't know. To ask him. So, but... Uh, but uh, he's doing so much stuff behind the scenes so that you guys can have an ability and a chance to make more money. So with that being said, I'm going to hand the floor over to Mr. Curtis Johnson. Dan Ebert, Dan Ebert thank, thank you so much. So much. Uh, I, appreciate I appreciate you, my friend. friend. You know, you know, I know it. Uh, hey, Curtis, it just real quick, do you have an echo? I have an echo, huh? Yeah. Hold on. How is it now? Good. Good. Perfect. You know, I know it takes... Uh, it takes a lot of courage to move your family across the country like you did to, you know, put your put your money where your mouth is and you did it in a big way. So, you know, thanks for that. And, uh, you know, it's been it's been a it's been a great journey. And, you know, Dan has definitely done a good job of leading from the front and setting a great example of the leadership and better recognizing how important this transitionary period is. Um, I do have some good news for everyone today, so I'll, I will get to that shortly. Uh, you're going to wish that all your guys were here, but that's fine. It's all good. It's all good. All sorts of excitement. But, um, you know, this is a new era. Like Dan said, this is the era of individuals recognizing the true value within better and not just the value to their family, because there's no, there's no value in a business like this just to your own family. It's only the value that you bring to other people. It's only the value to, that you bring to your community and to the other members of your team, your clients. That's really where the real value is. So I appreciate also the amount of excitement that we've experienced with the Better Pro Sales Huddle. Uh, it, you know, I'm interested just to see who here is. Uh, I'm opening up the chat here so I can see. Um, where does Curtis find all the energy? Lots and lots of coffee. Um, other than that, thanks, Miguel. But no, it's um, I I'm interested to see who's who's team better, but who's pro? Who's team pro better, <laughs> or team pro? Let's call it that. Team better pro. I like that, Miguel. Awesome. Yeah, you know, and I've and I see the first couple people who pop up in here are the ones who you know have been showing up and doing some amazing things. You know, I want you to recognize something too. We are entering this new era and it we're entering it shedding some of the the things that were holding us back and even sometimes the individuals that were holding us back. Because let's be honest, when you start putting in order and you start making something a sane and workable system where people can thrive the people who are adding confusion tend to leave. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for what that means for all of us. I'm excited for you to see, you know, who you should actually focus your time and your energy on. And part of 
some of you are realizing that you are worth having energy and time focused on and you're displaying that with pro but i also want you to know some of these people that are leaving were holding you back some of these people that are leaving were holding the company back you know we've had some notable figures uh shift their relationship with some of these partners. And I'll tell you this, since some of that has happened, we've seen some individuals come back to better that are some of the biggest uh, agencies we've ever come across. Some of them having entire health agencies of 600 people who as of yesterday are going, hey, I'm gonna take Clearwater and incorporate that in cross, across my entire agency. And some of these people have been in better since day one. And somehow for whatever reason, what is happening right now is getting them excited to be involved in this company again. Because I think who here agrees something special is happening right now. Right in the, right in the chats, if you feel that something special is happening right now, because I feel it, and I feel it with some of you. I feel that some of you are elevating the way you look at better, elevating what you're doing with better, elevating your identity with better. It's getting better and better. That's right, Miguel. So I'm excited to have you all here. I'm excited to now see everyone start to recognize, okay, this is something that I can incorporate effectively into my professional business. Because let's face it, most of you here are business professionals in some capacity. Maybe you're a realtor, maybe you're a financial advisor, an insurance professional, PNC, mortgages, whatever you do. The people who are really thriving well and better have some kind of professional designation in some way. Some of you might be bookkeepers, some of you might be CPAs, tax attorneys, whatever you are. The point is, what we're doing is appealing to you because all of you want to provide more value to your clients. It's that simple. Like, I don't want to overcomplicate this. I sometimes feel like we try and add so many different layers, but isn't it really that simple? I remember this last uh, Wisdom Wednesday, we were talking about this point. We were talking about the simplicity of what better means for really this country. We have three major crises in America. We probably have more, <laughs> but three that are notable to me. We have a health insurance crisis. Costs spiral out of control each and every year. They get worse. We have a debt crisis in this country. Uh, consumer debt is year over year, always higher and higher, which doesn't have to be that way. In fact, it shouldn't be. And we also have, frankly, a tax crisis where the playing field is not even. And we have the ability between those three things to really level this playing field. So I'm gonna make a quick announcement here and then we're gonna hear from some of you who have been doing notable things within better, as well as people who are starting to really recognize, okay, great. This is something that is, is going to be a major part of my overall business, my overall agency. And I want you to hear from some of them. And uh, I, I, I really also, I don't wanna you know hear my own voice anymore. So I wanna hear from you guys. So. The good piece of news that I want you all to know, okay? And uh, after we hear some from some of our guys, we'll, we'll do a brush up on everything pro and plus. So we just kind of touch on that really quickly. But what I want you to know is we have the opportunity to obviously talk with a lot of, call it your leadership, individuals who have large agencies within Better, some of them having brought over a thousand individuals to Better, and we're in this weird era, and I think a lot of you understand this. Uh, there's no doubt that we've reached out to every single person, uh, maybe even to the point of too much. We've sent more emails than we'd like to admit. We've sent a bunch of text messages all about, hey, we want you to sign up for Better Plus and Better Pro. So we've done all of that. And, you know, I understand we're all busy, especially the month of July. Maybe the month of July wasn't the greatest month for us to make a switch over. And I think the reason for that is I know a lot of people, you know, it's the end of summer. They're just about their kid, get their kids back to school. Some people go on vacations and just are checked out a little bit in and out of July. So having talked to a lot of you, we've decided that we're actually going to extend the period of, uh, of the free version of Better for another two weeks. Now, all of you that are already 
getting uh, on Better Plus and Better Pro, you're going to still have the same benefits. And uh, the Better Pro Plus and Pro are also going to be excited to hear that I now am looking at on my screen one of the uh, almost almost ready versions of our lead tracker. So you will be seeing that as well here in the next couple of days. But in addition to that, the reason we're doing this and the reason we're going to open it back up uh, for another two weeks is we want everyone to also be able to log back in and be able to see all of the statuses of who on their team is paid, who is not. And unfortunately, uh, us removing individuals from the system uh, made it so they stopped showing up on your grids. And that obviously isn't something we want. So we're going to open up the uh, that two this uh, two week window. We're going to allow people who have already been removed uh, to come back in. So we're going to bring them back into the fold for another two week period. So two weeks from today, just so everyone is very clear, and there will be an email that goes out about this. So one week would be the 14th, two weeks, we will shut everything back down. Wisdom Wednesday on the 21st of August. Okay, so that gives you all two full weeks to reach out to every last person that has uh, been removed from better, removed from the better income side, uh, because we don't want you to, we don't want you to have any kind of regret about, hey, I wish I had done more. I wish I had been more active reaching out to some of my agency. And um, we just also know it's a busy era. So we're going to reopen this window again for two weeks. So Wisdom Wednesday on the 21st of August is going to be that final deadline there won't be any kind of extension past that. Uh, you know, a lot of people twisted our wrist to do this extension in the first place. And, um, you know, the, frankly, part of this was that, well, this isn't really just our company anymore. You know, Jeff, uh, up till the beginning of this year, was pretty much sole owner, right? But now you guys also own a piece of this company. So there was overwhelming demand from the major, call it shareholders, in better that, hey, we need to open this back up for another two weeks because I don't want us to lose, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't want us to lose individuals that we could otherwise bring back into the fold. So I think that that's a, it's gonna be a valuable period for you to reach out to individuals and recover people back to better. But I think it is going to take recovering them back to better. Some here, only came into better because of call it employee retention credits or maybe they came into better uh you know because someone was excited and told them they should and they really not never got the the message of what better is all about now's your opportunity to actually grab them and sell them the dream of what this company can do it's made a number of people an extra you know six figures you know seven you know multiple six figures and that's meaningful. That's a meaningful amount of money for a lot of people's businesses and a lot of people's personal lives. But, you know, again, enough from me. You know this message. I don't want you to hear it again from me. I want you to hear it from other people in the that are in the trenches every day with you, with me, uh, working hard to make this a meaningful business. So, Dan, I want to bring you back in. I'm going to bring you back in first. Uh, and uh, we got a couple other people that are going to be right behind you, but go ahead and take a couple minutes, maybe even up to five minutes. And I just want to understand, you know, how how much more are you going to take advantage of this two week window to recover people back into better? What is a commitment that you want to make on that? And then also just uh, round that out with, you know, what do you really see as the value to your agency and your 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 core focus in better? Sure. There, there's a ton of value and, and guys, let's be honest. Um, not everybody that comes in is going to do anything, you know, at, at the end of the day, we, we built this whole platform so that people would actually come in and send leads in and, you know, and get paid at this, but if they're not going to do anything, it, it, don't you guys wish that, uh, a gym that you signed up for, if you're paying the monthly and you just, you stop going after a year, they just cancel your subscription. They, so you don't have to pay 10 bucks a month, right? It's the same type thing. So we want to make sure that everybody's getting the right value. I know Curtis is busting his butt 
however many days a week he's doing trainings for everybody east coast and west coast so that people could come here and learn so what are you getting for your five dollars a month or or fifteen dollars a month you're getting curtis a few days a week with sales coaching how to build a business you're getting a whole platform you're getting the mighty networks you're getting all this stuff all thrown into it so look at it from a numbers perspective Okay, so you have zero employees, right? Mar I see Marla on here. She's got zero employees on here. Everybody she brings in is a potential new revenue stream for her at, at the end of the day. So I'm looking at, we have well over 100 people now that have signed up for Plus or Pro, which is great, but it's still not enough out of 1,500 people that actually came on board in the company. But I'm looking at the list. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this person got paid last year, but they're not signed up. This person got paid last year, but they're not signed up. They got paid more than their membership would cost the entire year. So why wouldn't they just pay? It's basically it's still free. Even if they're getting $60 in overrides a year, it's still free for them at the end of the day. That's free money that they're getting, if that makes sense. So. I'm going to go, I'm going through my list calling, first of all, all the people that made money. Listen, you're not signed up for it. You did make money. It's proven. You're, and it only means you're going to make more money moving through the next year. Because as this thing grows, your income's going to grow. But then it's like, why not build a bigger sales organization? Why not get them signed up for the pro or the plus? Now you can actually track your business. Those emails are coming out for you guys, those personal emails. And you guys are like it or not, you're the ambassadors of better. You're the ambassadors of better. So go get some more ambassadors on your belt. I do know this. The bigger organization that I have, the more money I make. In anything in life, four hands are better than two, right? Eight hands are better than four, and so on and so forth. So you can literally build an army here for less than a cost people netflix for the month and they can make money i don't i don't remember last time i made money off watching netflix paying however much i pay for netflix every month i pretty much wasted life <laughs> last time i watched last time i watched netflix but seriously it's increasing your odds if you played the lotto and would you rather have by, by the way, you got to pay to play Lotto, don't you, Curtis? Last time I checked, do they go, you go into the gas, checked, gas station? You get a free Lotto ticket. You go to the gas station, hey, can I get one of those free Lotto tickets so I can win $2 billion or whatever it is these days? No. You do have to pay to play in the Lotto. But what are your odds if you buy one ticket as opposed to $10 million? That's the name of the game. I know if you got a bigger team, bigger or bigger organization, you're gonna win the game. That's and that that's the bottom line. So I would encourage all of you, all of you leaders, call you guys. If you you'll be able to see who signed up and who's not, call them up. Go hey hey look, I see that you're not. Did you still want in or not? Because this thing is gonna move. This thing's gonna move, and I want you to be a part of it. Christopher Santa Maria, just to give you an example as well, Curtis, Christopher Santa Maria from our team last year was in financial services for three years. Didn't make a penny. Came here, went out for one week doing going into businesses during ERC, and he made a paycheck a couple months ago for like $3,500. Would that be worth it to you to stay in this company? I think so. What if, what if, what if you run into a, what if you quit and you run into a business owner and like, yeah, I'm looking for health insurance. Yeah. I got a, how many employees you got a hundred employees. Oh, that's $1,500 a month on a referral for me per month, every month. Like, do you see what I'm getting at? It's almost common sense to this point. It's almost common sense to this point. Sarita, I'll send you a link. Um, so just, just do yourself a favor. 
you 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 sold somebody the dream to get them signed up for this, didn't you? Somebody on here sold somebody a dream, promising them, hey, you can make some money here, but we're not fulfilling our promises if we're not doing it. So um, anyways, have a great day, you guys. Curtis, I'm going to hand it back to you, but I hope that helped a little bit. Just get out there and, and hit the phones for you, for your people. Absolutely. No, it's good perspective, Dan, and I appreciate it. And, um, you know, I want I want you to know a couple things. Uh, you know, sometimes I think we all kind of get used to with better how there's a lot of things changing very quickly, and we sometimes forget to even give you other good pieces of news. And, Dan, I'm going to ask you one more question in a second, but I, I didn't want to forget this because uh, it's uh, kind of on the same train of thought. But, you know, sure, I have – you know, some, some sales experience and I've done well in sales. So, you know, the sales huddle has been quite amazing, but I also don't want you to think that that's the extent of what you're getting in better pro because, you know, here's the thing that could change your business. And there's multiple people in this business that it is changing their business. We have uh, Miguel Ayala, Ayala, sorry, uh, that is now working with a particular direct primary care doctor that, you know, he got through really being an interactive on the better pro side. And as a result, that doctor just sent out an email to all of his patients basically saying, hey, work with Miguel in order to, you know, sign up for Clearwater benefits. So, you know, let's say that that doctor has a thousand patients, which is not uncommon for a doctor. So what does that look like for him? You know, do you think that $15 a month was worthwhile for him? So, yeah. Not, I don't want to undersell sale, the sales huddle. I think that that will be an absolute game changer for some of your businesses because some of you need that second person to talk to. You need that second person to go and kick your butt and remind you, hey, every day you should be prospecting. Every, sh every day in your core focus or in your better business, whatever one, you should be working on your, your skills, in, uh, you know, honing, honing in. So I don't want to undersell that, but I do want you to know that currently Jeff and I are working on a fairly extensive project where you are going to get exclusive access to many, many 10, 20 plus trainings from Jeff specifically and only in Better Pro. Some of these are going to be on topics like leadership. Some of them are on topics like building an agency because let's not forget Jeff built a passive income stream of multiple seven figures. Who here would be interested in any area of their life to build a passive income stream of seven figures? You know, give me a hell yeah if you feel that's you. So, you know, this is something that I'm sure is going to be a major appeal to you. So again, I don't want you to sit there thinking, okay, cool, yeah, no, I feel like I'm getting good value on the sales huddle. Awesome, that's great. But that's not even, we've barely scratched the surface. We've barely touched on, I've had calls with some premier marketing in uh, marketing professionals that are gonna talk about, hey, how to dominate on social media, how to leverage uh, you know, email marketing campaigns, how to uh, hone your branding in. And yeah, sure, we touch them on some of these stuff in a very light fashion on sales huddle but it's going to be nothing compared to some of the some of the training exclusive training that's going to come to the better pro team recognize the purpose of this is not just to expand again and i know i know the pro team that's on the sales huddle regularly you hear me say this all the time this is not just to expand your better business if that was it that wouldn't yes for some of you that it, you're going to build a multi seven figure income within better. And I'm excited to see the 10 year room for those who are in better 10 years from now, or call it eight years from now, 10 year anniversary of better. We are going to have multiple people in here, call it a dozen, two dozen, who each are making a residual passive multi seven figure income from just better. Not to mention how much better improves their other you know, focus, whether they're in financial services or whether they're a realtor, whether they have a, you know, they're a tax professional, whatever it is, you're, they're going to see massive expansion across the boards. And I'm excited to see those of you who find your focus now, perfect that focus at a second point, and then master building 
your agency within better building a company within this amazing framework because not only are you going to get whatever income stream that you generate from that but you're also going to get ownership like it was the exerting of an opinion of the top call it brass of those who have ownership in better that pushed us to hey okay good we're going to open things back up for another couple weeks here you know that's that's that ability there that's when you have ownership in something, you have a voice. Without that, I hate to say it, you really don't. Do you have a voice in, you know, if you're working for someone else, if you're an employee? Sure, you might feel like you do. But at the end of the day, if boss doesn't want to hear your voice, he just says two little words, you're fired, right? You can't, that is not something that can happen here, okay? <laughs> don't do anything illegal and you'll never hear those words. Do you, does that sound like a fair agreement? Anyone who's all into that agreement, put a number one in the chat. I want to make sure everyone's good on that. Put number one in the chat if, if you like the fact that we can never and would have no interest in firing you unless you did something criminal. So, so long as you're not a criminal, you're probably going to like it here better. Okay? So, Dan, quick question for you. Within the next two weeks... What are you going to get to? How many how many people are you going to have on Better Pro and Better Plus in your I, team? I think we should have 300, 300. quite honestly. I, like I think that. we will retain 20% of what we started with originally. Perfect. Because you guys are just above 100 right now, right? Good. Yep. I think that's a real target. I think it's something that you definitely can do. And uh, I'm interested to see you know, who takes the, the top spot on the podium at the end of this two week period. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's you consider that a challenge to anyone else who's on this call that would like to, uh, you know, take that top spot. Awesome, Dan. Thanks for that. Appreciate you. So the next person that we get to hear from is, uh, is a dear friend of mine. She's also up here local, but she hasn't always been. She actually just like me was a fellow Californian, uh, and I'm very excited to be able to actually have her talk to you uh, in better because, you know, I'll be honest, in the past, she didn't really feel like that was something that she could do. And she's made some major moves in her career and her in her life. And uh, she's someone who I respect dearly and I consider a dear friend, uh, especially because I have to because, you know, her son, you know, works with me. So I... <laughs> <laughs> there's no avoiding having regular conversations with her and her telling me I need to kick her son's butt harder. But um, none other than uh, Marla Isidro, who I, I love to death. But Marla, hop in here. Hi, good to see you. I feel like we just okay. talked, not even an hour I ago. I know, great to be here, Curtis. It was interesting because Dan called you a fireman. We were talking this morning and that's exactly Dan, what I was telling him about. I said, you are putting out fires and you should be called a fireman. It was interesting that we see the same uh, the same things for Curtis. He works so hard. He called me this morning. He says that he can't meet with me because he's sick. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, Bus throw. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're sick. He's sick physically, but not mentally. So he's able to still work with us. So thank you so much for doing this for us. My battery's low. No, of course. Um, and if I look like I'm sweating profusely, it's because I do have a fever. So that's why yeah, I'm not in the yeah, office. I can't, but... I, we can't tell. We can't tell. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> I'm excited because Curtis, better just got better. How's that? Right? And, I, would, I would have to agree with you on that one. Right? And uh, so, it, it doesn't go, it doesn't stop from there. Um, you were going to say something. Go ahead. No, you know, I, I, I don't know that it, uh, it would do any justice if I didn't actually... Uh, clarify for everyone else here you know you have a massive financial agency and have done extremely well in this industry in the financial industry you know in the last call a decade and more um so why is it that you find better interesting honestly what is it about better specifically that you look at and go this is something that is meaningful to my not just myself but my agents my team in that industry? Why is better something interesting to you? That's great. Uh, uh, that's a great question. As a matter of fact, uh, contrary to what most people think and know, um, I'm actually, of course, 100% all financial professional. I've been doing life investment for the last 19 years. Of course, I started when I was five, uh, just to make it clear, Harriet, um, you know, because I know you guys there, you add, you, 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 you look you, great for 24. Thank you. <laughs> 
it was actually 25 i'm kidding but anyway it's um uh for in my past career you know doing financial services and accounting i see the need of of i, I mean i came in in 2006 in the financial services industry prior to that i was an accountant and so right when the 2008 market crash you know, even if you wanted to sell life insurance, Harriet, and looking for and telling people you got to save money for retirement, you know, there's not there's nothing there. You're right. Everybody, all of everybody's 401k may, uh, became 201k. Right. Every month, everything that you can think of their homes that um, used to be half a million became a quarter of a million. So everything, everything actually cut in half and everybody was needing to make money. And so, and so, and, and actually debt was growing. And so with that said, we actually brought in, our team was the one who ran a, a debt settlement company to the financial services um, a company to the distribution, just so if we can, you know, um, uh, relieve that debt and bring it down, bring that principal down, and the monthly payment goes down, now there's a savings monthly that we can put away for life insurance, for retirement plans, for college funds. So with that said, um, we were we did that for years until I got excited when uh, Jeff was talking about, I was telling Jeff about you know how we've always done it that way, right? And then of course, I got excited when, when PFN, Prosperity Financial Network, was going to pay four times that. I was so excited. I was like, are you kidding me? If there's more money, there's more money. Why I'm so excited is because the agents were getting paid a little percentage, but it was just the agents. There's no override on that. So everything, Barbara, that I was doing before, I was selling, I was building everybody. I was getting everybody, pushing everybody to to uh, to bring that product to to help clients. There's no override for me. It was just at least I was looking at it where at least I override on the financial services side. So that's number one. Second is that I was becoming an accountant and then I'm actually having hundreds of, of agents that are, in the, that are independent contractors. Now they have to learn how that 1099, how, that, how to actually work on, on from W2 to 1099. So I was actually giving uh, or training financial information. I was training accounting 101. And when when Prosperity Tax Financial came on and trained us about account, accounting 101, I was like, Barbara, I don't have to do it pro bono anymore. I don't have to do that for free from my agents anymore. I have a, a CPA, as a matter of fact, who's, who's still practicing, who's going to go in and do that. As a matter of fact, I would do that too. I would ask my friends, my colleagues back in the day who are CPAs, who are still practicing, I would call them and ask them, can you please do the training? And then if you do, we'll send you clients to, to actually take care of, so that you could take care of them. We've been doing that and now we didn't have to do that anymore. And on top of it, we even get overrides for being able to help a client um, save on their taxes, help an independent contractor learn how taxes work when it comes to a 1099. So those are the things that if you think about it, that I've been doing and I've been doing it for free, right? The biggest part of it is that my 19 years of business, health insurance was being given away too. So if my client have health insurance questions or problems or situations, I was giving it away to a health insurance broker. And again, on that one though, even if we have health insurance license, because there's not much money in there, Curtis, we're technically not getting paid. They'll get paid. They'll help the client. And then we hope that there's some savings there so that we can definitely save that. You know, other than that, if you think about it, all of the products that better has been, has been power, has been empowering, has been something that we've been doing for free and uh, being able to just give it, you know, um, give it to, to a company called better. Um, they would not be able to just refer and then be able to start making money and everybody's happy with all the overrides, right? I mean, I think there's five, six usually um, uh, levels in there. So that's definitely what we've been doing, what we've been excited about. And so this time I was telling Curtis the other day, 
I was like, hold up one second. You know, back in the day, I actually have my husband, my sons, and all of us are life and health licensed. And whether even if we're not, we I actually pushed them to actually go to better only because I did not have one to disclose that I have another business somewhere else only because it's too much work to do that when you have a securities license. So then this time I was, I was talk, talking to Curtis, I'm like, hold on, you know, Jet told me, mom, you're not with them anymore. How come you're still not signed up? And I was like, that's right. So I wanna welcome myself for being a new better member. And, and I found out that I, I think that was a better plus, which one is ever, whichever is higher, right? So I made sure, Barbara, that I am going into the higher contract, the better one, whatever the services is, right? If there's a Netflix Pro or a Amazon Pro Plus, right? This is that one. And I told you, definitely get them, get me a part, let me be part of it. Um, the whole team has been part of it. My husband, who's in here too, has been leading um, this whole team all this time for the last one and a half years. I was uh, technically sick for the last, you know, one year before that. So I, while I was sick, the kids and my husband has been working and diligently with Curtis to make this happen for everybody. Um, and so that's being said, I want to welcome myself to be part of the better team. We can now call it best because I'm now here. I'm kidding, <laughs> right? <laughs> but anyway, let me just uh, share with you one little thing too. You know, um, uh, some of you are wondering how come it it now it now has cost. Let's step back and let me make let me make you understand it. It actually now has value. It's it does not have cost. It now has value. So I would like for everybody to start understanding that when something is of value, there should be a price for it. And that's what you're paying right now. In 1953, a guy named Neil Fox, a Phoenix gas station owner, bought the first McDonald's for $1,000. Now, a franchise for McDonald's is between $1.3 to $2.4 million. I'd like for you to hold on to those certificates because it just went up in value. And I'd like for you to be so excited about it. Sell this price because it's a value and don't look at it as a cost because, it's, because it is not. So let's get this a good, better, best. Let me just share with you. Never let it rest because till your good is better and your better is best. Let's go and make better, better. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Curtis. I appreciate you, Marla. And you know, I uh, I don't think I've ever said it better than the way you just said it right now. So yes, it is now welcome to our new company, which is best. We'll change the logos. Don't worry, Jeff, I'll submit the uh, trademark. It'll be BST because we have to leave out an E unquestionably, but <laughs> he just nodded. Okay, good. We have approval. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Marla. And you know, I do actually believe that you in here, uh, unfettered, uninhibited is going to be a beautiful thing. So I'm excited to have you uncloaked on the team. So thank you so much for you know everything you've done. And I and I do know that as a company, this company does owe your family to a degree a, a debt of gratitude because yeah, you've you've been instrumental. I know that you and I have had so many conversations behind the scenes about certain things that we should do differently. And um, this really is the crew that is forging forward. And, you know, it, it's that whole idea, you know, you're never going to build something amazing and worthwhile without, you know, skinning a couple knees. But along the way, you know, you really do find something amazing. So, Marla, thank you so much. And uh, I'm excited to hear from uh, this next individual who, uh, you know, I got a chance to talk to him again uh, last night, yesterday, yesterday afternoon. And it was a very meaningful conversation for me because I knew that he was utilizing better well, but I had no idea how much more we're going to be able to help his business really grow. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's something that there's the words, I don't want to try and put words to it because what I'm more interested in seeing is the action that's really going to follow in the coming weeks with uh, 
Mr. Navarro, who uh, let's let's uh, let's highlight him here and here as well. Uh, but Alex Navarro is probably, if not the top, he definitely. I think he is definitely the top team when it comes to distributing Prosperity Financial Network. Um, he is definitely in in a top spot in terms of the team he's developed within Better. And honestly, uh, especially based on the conversation we just had yesterday, something tells me that he is going to do 10 to 100 times more this year that he's done for any year prior. Uh, I'm, I couldn't be more excited to have him on here. Uh, uh, Jet, go ahead and highlight. There we go. There he is. Mr. Alex Navarro. Great to have you, sir. Well, thank you for having me here, Curry. So, hey, everyone. So very excited to, to be here. Uh, the first time I heard about Better, I jump on board and I put over uh, 1,200 people in our system. Um, we have a big, big crusade about debt. Uh, when I started in financial services back in the day, about 10 years ago, right? I was 10 years old when I did it. <laughs> so um, I had over $60,000 in credit card debt and, and $50,000 in student loans. So I know what it means to have a lot of debt, all the stresses and everything that comes with it. Um, and I've been working with another company that we did millions of dollars of uh, debt resolution. And when I heard about Better, More Comp, I also uh, heard that, Heard and I knew that the, the benefit or the product to the client was way better than the other company. I jumped on board and I brought everybody with us. And I know that better was free, right? Uh, and we knew that it was not forever. We knew that. Um, and we just did it. We just did it. We we've been I've been in better since probably like since the start, almost the almost the start of better and and I'm so happy. I mean, I, we got overrides. We got team making money. And and just, and Maria says something very interesting today about value. You know, like now we have a value. And people have to understand that in order for you to be in business, you have to invest. For example, I invest a couple hundred bucks on my license back then. And our company had done millions of dollars, right? But people want to have the result without having the pain, without having the work. We have a business, guys. To open a franchise, as Maria said, McDonald's, you got to put like $2 million before, before the first hamburger is cooked. It's crazy. Here, we just pay 15 bucks a month, and I'm sure you guys spend that on a coffee on Starbucks, and you're going to have, a, a, you're gonna have access to sales trainings. And I, I've been in sales for over 10 years, and I had paid I paid John Maxwell over $6,000 and I paid Tony Robbins about $10,000. So I know what it means to invest money, right? And here with 15 bucks a month, we actually have access to sales trainings of that caliber. And then on top of that, we have access to products that really make a change. Actually, one of the things that I spoke to uh, Curtis yesterday was this product that you guys have for tax resolution. It's crazy how we can help a, a person, a business, to save hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes. It's crazy how the tax code is. It, it is. It's crazy. Like Uncle Sam is actually our best friend, but we have to know the rules. If we don't know the rules, he's not our friend, right? So it's so interesting. All the things that we have, of course, clean water. I do run an agency, health agency, of over six hundred licensed agents and. We done about $15 million in commissions to them last year. And I'm so excited to put on board Clearwater and start helping businesses as well. And people who work 1099 as well. So I'm working with Curtis with that. And then that also with Alex Lopez. I mean, we've been working since the start of this and, and to put processes in place and helping the Spanish community too, because that's one of my biggest crusades. There's over 65 million people who speak Spanish and need help, and there's nobody doing that. So Better is the best platform out there with low cost that we can definitely make us change in communities, saving taxes, saving people on their health plans. Health insurance is so expensive right now, and having access to those plans are great. And debt, if you're in debt, you guys know, and I always talk to when we do the calls with Alex, I always talk about this. Guys, we're saving people's lives. We truly are. Because on the debt side, 
I don't know if you guys know, but, and I know you guys know, people commit suicide because of that. People go into divorces, bankruptcies, people get sick because of that. I used to be a medical student. So when you have debt, that causes stress. Stress causes inflammation. Inflammation causes diseases. So what we do matters. We actually, what we do really, really, really matters. And we can have everybody, everybody in the US, better is gonna be a well-known brand, just like McDonald's. And everybody will be coded. The question will be how many of those people you wanna be in your team, you, you wanna have in your team. Because everybody needs what we have. Low cost, high comp, making overrides, learning sales, just that, just, just, just have access to sales training that people pay thousands of thousands of dollars and we only have access to that for 15 bucks a month, crazy. So we all need it. I'm so happy, Curtis. Um, I'm talking to all the teammates now and we're doing Zoom calls now to make sure that people go to Plus or Pro. I'm team pro, right? But the sales classes are a must, are something that we have and everybody has to have access into that. And it's only 10 bucks extra. So just do it, guys, because your life are about to change. Better is about to make a big change. And I'm so excited to be part of that with you, with Jeff, and with everybody in the team. Back to you, Curtis. Awesome, Alex. I, I, I appreciate you a ton. I'm, uh, I'm especially excited about the concept that we're going to be able to provide even more value than I feel like you've provided to your team uh, up till now, because yeah, you've been one of the front runners when it comes to PFN. You were, you've been even one of the trailblazers that's helped make it what it is today. So thank you for all of that. And uh, it is really, it is really true. It's we've given out ownership, and we gave out ownership for a reason. We gave out ownership because we wanted people to step up. And you know, I think we can all agree this process in better has had its bumps. It's had its challenges, but. You know, I, I think it's interesting. Some of some of you uh, have highlighted this fact that I'm a firefighter. I do want you all to know, though, that on a daily basis, the number of fires I end up having to put out are getting less and less by the day. This thing is becoming so much smoother. And it's already something where we have individuals that are coming in and, you know, doing amazing work out the gate without much you know, without much of the challenges that I know a lot of you have gone through. So I appreciate you all for being trailblazers and for coming in and understanding that this is this, you know, has been the first two years of a very, very exciting journey. And uh, I'm excited for all of you to be able to hear from the, the last person that we're going to hear from. But I'm going to show you one thing really quickly before we do that. You're not going to want to leave if uh, if you're here so far. So uh, just so everyone understands. So five o'clock. So in one hour, we are going to reactivate everyone who uh, was temporarily pulled out of uh, the Better Income platform. And you're going to get two weeks on Wisdom Wednesday on the 21st. We will again, close the doors and that will be the last time. We will not have a free plan within Better because Marla, I couldn't agree with you more. Free reduces that perceived value. And there is so much value in this company for every one of you. I don't want to do that to you especially as owners in this company with us. So I want to show you two things really quick. So your team is going to get reactivated again, like we were just talking about in the next hour. So when they come into better, description button up here. Also, Jet put the button uh, directly into the chat for everyone. So if you aren't signed up, or you know you have individuals on your team that need to sign up, you want to pull up this report here. It's called the Team Report Lead Summary. And it'll show everyone on a paid plan, whether the Better Plus or Better Pro, and it looks like it's still loading because this is, this uh, individual has a big team. But here, let me hop out to Better Income. Uh, from here, you will see, looks like uh, a lot of you guys are in here because it's slowing down at the moment. But the point is, uh, Jet, you put the, the link to that uh, page. Let me actually just pull that up so everyone can see that. I will copy this and uh, show you where to go. So if you go to the link that we just put in the description, you go subscription to Better Life, uh, the link specifically will bring you right down to Better Plus or Better Pro. I would highly suggest Pro. You're gonna get 
a thousand times the value for ten dollars more a month so it's no question that if you are serious about better this is the plan to go with it's not even a there's not even a conversation if you know you are serious and this is where you want to plant your flag along with whatever your core focus is do better pro okay you will get access to everything that's available there you just hit subscribe It'll send you to a little cart. You put in your information, your agent code, and then great. Each month, we'll, we'll bill you for that. And I feel very certain that you will see $15,000 in value in what it will change to your business uh, You know, throughout the course of the year. This is going to be an investment that pays you over and over again. And uh, yeah, if you, if you have uh, already gone to Plus and you'd like to switch over to Pro, uh, just go ahead and shoot an email to support at a better life. I see Stan is asking that question, and I think that's a great question. Uh, yeah, definitely switch over from Plus to pl Pro, and it's just simple email, and then we'll work with you on the back end to get that switched over. Very simple process. So uh, enough from me. I don't want to, uh, to steal any time from this individual because without him, we wouldn't have this company. Uh, he, he risked pretty much everything for a couple of the ventures including better that he's been working on and he's someone worth following he's built a lifestyle that i think pretty much everyone in this room wishes that they had he's built an income stream that will pay him and his children uh lifetimes over so i don't think that there's any doubt that we all wish that we were in this man's position and uh i've had the opportunity to work side by side with him for the last two years and really experience, you know, some trials, tribulations. Uh, we've, we've all grown in very different ways, but um, I think that we are all just starting to see even just the best of what this man has to offer. And, uh, you know, I'd like to bring up none other than founder, CEO of Better, uh, Mr. Jeffrey Levitan. Curtis, thank you. And everybody on this call and Zoom, thank you for being here today. It's good to be in front of you and also hear from some of you. Great to hear from you, Alex, and and uh, great to hear from uh, Marla and uh, everybody on this call. I miss you all. I don't see you enough. We need another uh, company cruise or trip somewhere. Remember, the motto of better was first thing to have like a better life by having more fun. And it's so funny. Great. Uh, Curtis and I laugh about this all the time. We, we we might be fighting over a topic or a subject because we're just both very passionate about extending and offering the best opportunity for people. That's the whole reason I'm doing this. A lot of people start businesses and because they want to make money for themselves. I mean, and nothing's wrong with that, by the way. But some people, they're always, I got to start a business. I got to start another business. I, 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 me, 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 me. I, I want more money. And I had enough money. And in my third or fourth attempt at retirement, I thought about all the people that got left behind, frankly. I thought about all the people that had come into my life and into my businesses. I ran a very successful recruiting machine and we recruited a lot of people. And unfortunately, you know, it's not for everybody. And in my in my career at that time, in the industry I was in, I thought, man, those were a lot of really good people that are gone. They're not gone, gone, but they're just not in business with us anymore and in life with us. And how do we get them back? Or how do we, how do we help the next wave of people have more success than the last wave? What, what were some of the challenges that that last group had? And I thought, well, licensing was a challenge. Not everybody uh, thought it was easy or wanted to go study for a test and get a license, especially if you were 19 years old and fresh out of school and you're used to taking tests, no problem. But if you're 78, you uh, you might not have taken a test in about 60 years. So the thought of it was a deterrent, right? Um, rejection. How about having to go sit down and sell things and become a great salesperson if you're an introvert or not such a good talker. What what can we do to help those people, right? And so, look, I did this and started this whole company to go help people make a difference. And that's why I did it. And money would be the byproduct. If we did a good job, maybe there's some money in it. And, 
you know, in our first year fumbling around, and we did fumble, uh, we paid out a few million extra bucks, a few million extra bucks to people. And the people that made the few million paid zero, zero. So they didn't have to pay anything and barely do that much. And we paid out a few million bucks. And then we perfected our system and moved stuff around and added stuff to the platform and took stuff off. And by the way, it's always going to be that way. If something's not working, we're not ashamed. We're, we'll we'll pull it off. And if it's working great, we'll put it on. And some products come and go. They're only here for a moment and they're not anymore. And some are in for the long haul. Debt, I have an idea, is probably here to stay in America. Um, the need for health insurance, unless we get a socialized health system where everyone just automatically gets it, I think there's always going to be a need to save money there and provide better value, you know? So we got things that'll always be on the platform. Um, but, but I will tell you, we just got a lot better as a company. You know, we really did. No pun intended. We just got better as a company. We're more solid. We're here to stay. It's self-sustaining now. Um, we've come a long way and we're going a long way further. And, um, and some people said this, but you are early adopters. Simon Sinek, and you've probably seen his TED Talks. He did the circles. You've probably seen his circle presentation before. And he talked about, I think, cell phones, right? And when these new smartphones come out, there's the early adopters. They wait in line all night outside of the Apple store or whatever to go get the first one. And then there's people who are like, I'm going to wait and let them work the bugs out. I'm going to get it a few months later. And then there's people that are still you know, have the rotary and the, and the dial and the co long stringy cord and they're super late adopters. You know, they, 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 they never want to change. Um, uh, but I would tell you a lot of the, just like everything where there's risk, there's return where there's early adoption of something you're in early. Everyone says they wish they were in early, but most people don't have the guts and, uh, you all have the guts to be in something that's not perfect in its first couple of years. And um, if you know one thing about me, I, I, I stick with things. I stay with them. I, I, I was in my former company, started at age 24 and peacefully exited at uh, age 50. You know, half my life I gave to that uh, happily and proudly and thankfully. And it was a great investment of time and energy. And then, uh, and then I went to go just do my philanthropy, which I've been doing since 2000. So here we are 24 years into that out there trying to save some kids. And then I, I keep trying to golf and I keep trying to lay on the beach for hours. And I just keep coming back to making a difference. Everybody. I don't, I know not everyone has a luxury of being able to have, make those choices, but I will tell you, I don't want to demotivate you, but it's not all it's cut out to be. You know, once you get some nice stuff and you live in a nice house and drive a nice car and you get to eat nice meals and maybe help out some people you care about, there's not much more to it than that. It comes back to making a difference. It comes back to relationships. It comes back to enjoying yourself uh, in all your endeavors. And so that's what we're doing from the out of the gate. That's what we're doing from the get go here. And that's why. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to be here with you and uh, I'm proud to see all of you here. I'm proud of you um, for being part of this at this early phase. And we're, we are looking for the people that are going to be champions here too. I cannot wait to keep putting uh, more and more success out there into the field and adding more stuff to this platform as time goes and uh, we'll tweak it. It's going to change. One thing that's always constant is change. So we know that and and we 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 hope you welcome it as much as we do, and um, and keep working on this thing. I, I don't know if you're enjoying I decide, but boy, I'm sending out presentations even to technology people, and they love it. That interact the interaction is just it was such a treat and such a a great advancement in everything that we do. Um, I couldn't imagine living without it. Just like our cell phone, right? You lose your cell phone. You're like, I'd rather lose my wallet. Are you kidding me? Um, we're so addicted to it now, but we lived, I, I did, if you're younger, probably not, but I lived so many years without one. And I think with, as we come up with this technology and presentations and tools, we're going to think, how did we ever do it without that? And, um, 
And so if you learn to leverage it, though, uh, it will take you into the next stratosphere. So, Curtis, I, I just want to acknowledge you, too. Um, you've you've been through so much of the ups and downs and you've learned a lot. You're a young man and still developing in all these areas. You can't really put a title on it. We throw titles around here all the time, but it's not it's not like that. It's everyone does everything. No one's above anything. And we're and we're all thrown in to make this this company great. And if you got a stock certificate, guess what? Um, it's your company too. It's our company. So whatever you can do to make this company better and to make this company a better opportunity for you and whoever you introduce, please do feel welcome to uh, bring your, not just your need, but bring your seed and help this become the greatest opportunity that it can become. So God bless all of you. Thanks for being on today, Curtis. I'm going to turn it back to you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, the, the message. I think it's a, it's a needed message for everyone. I think that uh, a lot of you have seen great wins and successes in better. And we, we couldn't be more excited for that to become something that becomes the overarching culture within this company. Because mark my words, that will be the situation before you know it. And what, like what Jeff said, we are looking for those who want to lead that charge. And I know that we heard from a couple people today who are definitely part of that. There's no question. Uh, I'm, I couldn't be more excited to see what our speakers today have done. I just got some good news just now. So everyone is as of this moment back to active status. So if, uh, if you have individuals on your team that were removed, tell them that this is an opportunity at a second life with better. That is what this is. This is their opportunity to come back to the table and come back to stay, come back to do something meaningful, make an impact on your community and your family, and you know change your client's life in, in more ways than you've already been doing. So uh, I don't wanna drag this thing out. Uh, I appreciate everyone on, on the team now. I appreciate everyone who has told me either verbally or in the chats here or on the pro calls that we've been doing that this is, you know, your home and you're here to stay. I couldn't be more excited to, you know, help in in building this journey. And I know I speak for the rest of the team here at Better that we love y'all and we're excited for where this thing's gonna go. So thank you so much. And uh, we will catch all of you tomorrow. We have the Clearwater call. And then, uh, hey, I challenge all of you to sign up for Better Pro. Hop on to our 8.30 a.m. Eastern call or 8.30 a.m. Pacific call. And uh, we'll see if we can't help you brush up on some of those sales skills. Because even though most of what you're doing in Better is referrals, I do know that a lot of you have and live by your skill in sales and whatever else you do. So if we can help make uh, your journey through your professional career easier. That's what we're all about with Better Pro. So again, thank you so much, and we will see you in our next training. Take care. Have a great week. <laughs>